the stoichiometric which exists in so some uh, sample so we're going to uh, calculate the uh, combustion formula which is called stoichiometric yeah. now we have here i bring down a sample problem no? so an octane which is ch18 is burned in 50% uh, excess air so compute a the stoichiometric air fuel ratio for ideal and b the air fuel ratio with excess air so first uh, step one so write out the combustion formula so our combustion formula we have that will be your So that will be your fuel, no? then plus your air. Okay, then we have your product. So our fuel, so we have C8, H18. So I'm going to write that one here. So we have C8, H18. No? Then plus our air, which is, we have your A, which is your unknown. Then multiply by O2 plus 3.76. So we have your nitrogen N2. Then for our product, okay, so we have your B, which is your unknown. So we have your CO2 plus C as your unknown. So that will be your product, which is H2O. Then plus uh, our A again times the 3.76 for your nitrogen so what we're doing we're going to balance it for uh, without the excess air now uh, step two so that is to write out the molar equation so balance the equation by using the principle of mass of conservation okay. so let's start with your carbon so for your carbon, uh, carbon. So we have again, we have your eight. So that would be eight. Then we're gonna multiply by one. So we assume that is one mole of fuel. Then it is equal to on the other side for our product. So we have your B, which is also have an in coefficient of carbon. So we have your one multiplied to that one. Okay. So we have the value of your B, which is equal to 8 the next we go to hydrogen now for the hard hydrogen so we have here 18 then i'm going to multiply that by 1 then on the other side in the product so we have your hydrogen coefficient on the product so that will be 2 times c so the value of your c Coefficient of hydrogen is equal now to 9. Next, we go to the oxygen. So, for the coefficient of oxygen, we have here your 2 times the A. Okay, then that is also times with 1 mole. Then, on the product, we have 2 times B plus C. So, we can so substitute down the value of B and C since we have already the nakuha na natin siya dito. So, substituting that one, so we have now your A which is 2 times the value of B which is 8 then plus your value of C which is 9 then divided by 2 so we have now the value of your A which is 12.5. Now, I'm going to write the uh, stoichiometric natin without excess air. So, that will be um, C8H18. So, that will be plus um, 12.5. So, that is our oxygen O2. Then, I'm going to add our 47 for the product. Kung multiply mo yung substitute yung value. So, we have 42. I 47 and 2 so, and we have your product which is 8 CO2 plus 9 
H2O then plus 47 for the coefficient of your nitrogen. So this is stoic, uh, combustion formula without excess air. Now I'm going to write yung without, uh, with the excess air. So, so we have CH H18 plus close parenthesis that will be 1 plus E. Then I'm going to multiply this one to 12.5 O2 plus 47 your nitrogen then we have for your product which is 8 CO2 plus 9 H2O then plus E A O2 plus 1 plus E times 47 and 2. Okay, so you notice kung ano yung pagbabago, no? Okay, so from here, so we add 1 plus E. And on the other side, we have E times the A. We have yun, nadagdag tayo ng oxygen. Then we add to the product, which is 1 plus E times the 47 and nitrogen. So you see the difference, diba? So this is with excess air. Now, let's try to distribute or apply yung 50% excess air dito yung values niya. So, we have C8, no? That will be C8, H18. So, that will be plus, that will be 1 plus 0 0.5. Then times 12.5. Oxygen plus 47 nitrogen. Then we have 8 CO2 plus 9 H2O plus 50% 0 0.5. Then the value of your A, which is 12.5. So 12.5, this is for your oxygen. Then plus 1 plus 0 0.5 times 47. So we have for your nitrogen. Okay. okay so rewriting our equation. So we have C8, H18. Plus, so distribute natin yan. We have 12.5 of your oxygen. Plus, that will be 47. Of nitrogen then plus that will be 0 0.5 times 12.5 so we have 6.25 this is your O2 plus 0.5 of uh, pl uh, plus 0.55 times 47 so that will be 23.5 of nitrogen then let's try to simplify equation it's a product so we have 8 co2 plus 9 h2o then plus 6.25 of your oxygen then plus this one we have 47 of nitrogen or let's say this can be simplified into simplified into 1.5 times 47 that will be 70.5 of nitrogen okay. then simplifying equation natin dito in combustion formula we have now um, c8 h18 so this will be yung combine natin yung what is common so that will be 18.75 yung value ng oxygen and 47 plus 23.5 so we have 70.5 of your nitrogen then we have your product which is 8CO2 plus 9H2O plus 
6.25 for your oxygen plus 70.5 for your nitrogen okay okay so we have here now your yung ano natin um combustion formula with x is r then let's go to step 3 so compute the stoichiometric so we are now uh, we are now on uh, ideal so so i'm going to read uh now for the air fuel ratio with excess air no so so referring dito okay so we have 18.75 Then multiply that by 32. Then plus yung values ng air na, then we have 70.5. Then multiply it by your nitrogen molecular rate. We have for we have 28. Now for the moles of fuel, so again we assume one. Okay. So we have CH so that will be uh, 12 times 18 plus that will be H18 so that will be 18 times 1 okay. with the unit of kilogram mole per kilogram mole now so using our calculator, so we have the value of your actual air fuel ratio, which is 22.6. So kilogram of air per kilogram of fuel. Now for our stoichiometric, so that is without the excess air. So take note, this is the actual, this is with excess air now. For our stoichiometry, without excess air, so we have your air fuel ratio. So that will be equal to uh, 12.5 times 32, okay, for this one. So for this one, so that will be 12.5 times 32, then we have to plus the... 47 okay so that will be 47 so 47 times uh, the molecular weight of nitrogen so we have 28 and it is divided by so I'll assume one mole so you will so that will be close parenthesis that one so that will be 12 times 8 plus 18 times 1. So again, units is kilogram of mole. This is kilogram per mole, k-mole, sorry, it's k-mole. Then our air fuel ratio stoichiometric is now equal to 15.05. That will be kilogram of air by the by the kilogram of fuel okay so you see the difference so how much yung increase ng ating uh, air fuel ratio if you have the excess air so yung 20 22.6 kilogram of air per kilogram of fuel versus uh, stoichiometric without an excess air which is 15.05 kilogram of air and kilogram of fuel